Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the shop. Well, it's time for an upgrade here in the shop. You know, the old Husky 52-inch top and bottom toolbox right here has been a real asset for me here in the shop. I bought this on sale about 10 years ago from the Home Depot for about 450 bucks, I think. And I thought this thing was so big, I'd never need another box to replace this. Well, it wasn't too long at all before I outgrew this box. And not only that, I've got tools spread out in different boxes all over my shop. So it's time to get everything consolidated into one new toolbox. Before I show you this new toolbox, there's a lot of things that are going to have to happen here in this section in order for the new, new box to fit. For example, this is coming out. Everything on this shelf has to come off. Everything on this shelf has to come off. Everything here has to get away. The bottom section, all my drops right here, all of that has got to get cleared out. This whole section needs to be opened up bare. I've got to raise this shelf up, switch some things around, move this stuff over here, and the new box is going to consume this entire bay over here. So that's a lot of work to take on in order to get the new box in, but it's because I'm limited on space and I just don't have a lot of room here in my shop, every square inch is accounted for, I thought this thing through thoroughly and this is the only way that I can make this work. So with that said, before we get started in rearranging all of this stuff, let me show you the new box. This is the U.S. General 72 inch triple bank bottom and top box from Harbor Freight. I know a lot of people bag on Harbor Freight, but this U.S. General brand right here is pretty good in my opinion. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, next to, obviously we can't com compare it to Snap-on or Mac or anything like that, but for the old home gamer like me, especially at my age, this box is nice and it's going to work really well. Well, you can see it's considerably a uh, uh, considerably larger than my other box, and I'm not done yet because on the very end of this box, I've ordered a cabinet, a locker cabinet that's going to go on that's going to provide even more storage. So, with well, that said, let's get this thing out of the way and start rearranging and start this new transformation. Today's video is sponsored by King Metals. They've got all your fabrication needs in one location. From hinges to hardware, balusters to metal decor, brass to aluminum, and a whole lot more. You name it, they've got it. Check them out today at kingmetals.com. Now let's get back to today's video. All right, so I'm getting started uh, doing this project right here, and there's quite a bit of work ahead of me right here. As a matter of fact, I knew that uh, it would be so difficult to do it by myself. I've got my helper Marilio with me here for the next couple of days, and and we're gonna get this uh, knocked out a lot quicker than it would be if I was doing it myself. You know, there's one thing about uh, you know doing something like this and reorganizing your garage. There's stuff that you've got packed away that you never thought you had and you're never gonna use. It's been up there for years, and this is a good opportunity for me. Uh, clearing everything off and clearing everything out to go through and actually get rid of a lot of stuff that uh, that I'm not going to use. But, uh, stuff, Some stuff that I had, I didn't even remember that I had. But uh, nevertheless, a lot of work here. And I couldn't imagine going up and down that ladder by myself, uh, pulling everything off. It would have been, uh, been forever for one and for another. You know, I'm still recuperating from my uh, knee replacement surgery here that I had back in January. And I'm just getting... Uh, to where I'm getting along a little bit better. So all this help from Relio was uh, really appreciated and made, made things go a lot quicker. So the goal here, I think, like I had mentioned, is to get everything I can off of these two shelves right here because the stuff on this shelf, some of it is going to be going on the other shelf and that shelf has to be moved up. And then the stuff that we took off of the first shelf is going on this shelf, but all this stuff had to be emptied off in order to make things uh, switch around. The reason why I wanted to do that is because 
the toolbox now is going to be in the center section of the garage right there and the tools that i had above the toolbox where it is now is some of the stuff that i i used regularly and so i just like to have that stuff in a in an area that i can uh, keep all my tools in one section if you will so this this section right here um, is we're not moving the shelf it's pretty much going to stay where it is and we're just going to be going through uh, a lot of stuff and just putting stuff back up on this shelf and then we're in the very back that it's never going to get used this stuff is going to be there forever until the day i move and and uh it's just it's just actually just storage so that process begins right now and uh this is what we're doing i'm having to go through here and just get this stuff that is not going to be used and and get it tucked back in here nice and tight you know all the space that i have <clears throat> in this garage and I keep mentioning it it is I just run out of space I'm just every square inch is just as, as consumed with something and uh, you know it just seems to get tighter and tighter in there and I get more and more things and I'm just running out of space so the process here is to get everything put back on this shelf and then we're gonna get in there to the other side and get that shelf uh, moved up and cleared out uh, and get ready for the new toolbox. We're just gonna fast forward to that section there. I don't wanna bore you with, uh, you know, you know, moving things around. Uh, you guys see what's going on here. So uh, we'll just move forward to that point. All right, so here's the center section here. This is my toolbox that carries all my drills and taps and that and this thing is super heavy. So I'm taking everything off the top right here. I, my guess is this thing probably weighs 300 pounds or more. And so we're taking everything off the top and actually we, we gave it a try right here, I believe, to try to move it. And uh, yeah, right, we just decided that's way too heavy at this point. We're gonna, we're gonna take the step farther. Let's try to remove this shelf right here and uh you know get some other things out of the way like the toolbox here and uh we'll we'll tackle that uh when we can get in there and access it a little bit better well that's a pretty good idea here get uh the uh, floor jack to move the uh, old toolbox out that was perfect i kept envisioning i'm gonna have to unload all the tools out of there and move it but uh, that was a great idea with the floor jack there i got some lighting right here that's underneath there all that's got to be disconnected and rehooked back up this is the shelf that needs to get moved up Oh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, I forget, probably a good eight inches uh, to allow for clearance of the new box going in there. And then the top of the new box, I actually put tools and put things on the top of the box and I need clearance for that. So this shelf needs to get up uh, quite a bit higher. I believe it's like eight inches higher, I think. All right, now it's time to try to move this uh, move this toolbox. And we decided not quite yet. Let's take some more weight out of it. So <laughs> I don't know. We didn't quite empty it all the way, but uh, you know we got it to where it was. Uh, I don't know. This we probably took another thirty pounds out of it, and we decided, okay, that's good enough. Let's just go ahead and and give it a try. All right, that was heavy. Well, we got it up there, got it out of the way. There's the can crusher. That thing has not been used in a few years. The cylinder is leaking uh, oil, uh, and uh, therefore it's not holding air. And so um, I haven't been using that for a while. But, uh, you know, I don't want to get rid of it. So this is something that I'm going to just for now take down. I'll store it someplace, and maybe another day I'll get it out and, and get that thing hooked back up. All right, so here I'm just trying to figure out exactly how much uh, higher we're going to need to go, and I decided that, that is the place right there. And here is the problem with this uh, storage rack. You know, this is an older storage rack, and uh, you know it it it's wedged in there, nice and tight. And I have moved the shelves around on this thing so many times. Uh, it, it's just it's difficult to move the those uh, those side rails and he, they get wedged in there super tight and it's just hard you can see we struggled so much and every time I go to move these side rails they, they are it is a problem but we ultimately got it up and got it done all right with the shelf up and in place there uh, now I'm going ahead and I'm gonna put these tools up on top now this these are the tools that I get to regularly and this is why I wanted to keep them you know above the new toolbox and uh, i'm fully aware that there's a lot of space behind this shelf but uh all the stuff that i have had um that i wanted to, to to put away i already did that on the on the previous shelf so um it's good just the way it is all right so this little tiny shelf right here whether it be th 
four foot by four foot section has got so much stuff in it. It is unbelievable. All of the contents on this shelf right here just about consumed uh, my whole welding table. And it's just amazing how much you can pack into such a small little area. So what has to happen here, and I'll explain it, I won't show it, but we got to get everything off of this. And you can see that this little short rail here, the custom weighed one in the front with the little magnet stuck on the front, that has to come out and then a new rail needs to go all the way across the front and that is going to support the uh, drill tool box and then all of this stuff is going to get put back pretty much where it is now but, but that's what has to happen and so uh, that's what we did and so we'll just move forward there and you'll see that part all right well i got that shelf all rebuilt and we're putting just putting everything back in this little corner right here and i thought i'd be able to get rid of some stuff but and i did i got rid of a, a little bit but I, but for the most part everything went back in there just uh, as much went in as is as, as, as much went back in as what came out except for a few cans but uh nevertheless you never know when you need something uh and i know where every single thing is in this shop all right, and uh, the toolbox, uh, the drill, the drill storage box uh, going into place and uh, fit in there just like I was expected. All right, got all that put back together, and now it's time to get rid of my uh, well, metal drop area, I guess you want to call it. Now there is also a lot of stuff that I've accumulated over the years. I know it's, I know it seems silly to hang on to all these little small little pieces, but you would not believe how handy they come in for shims, for small little pieces. Uh, I use this stuff all the time. It's either that, or I'm just a guy who just can't throw anything away and just needs to keep everything. You never know where you're gonna need something. Nevertheless, this thing is gonna get cut down quite a bit. I'm probably gonna take off maybe two feet of this storage rack right here, and it's gonna end up fitting underneath the drill box storage there you'll see to the left. So I guess I'm going to have to get rid of uh, some of that stuff and consolidate it, if you will. I mean, look at all these small little tiny pieces. Just uh, It almost seems ridiculous, but I'm telling you, I use a lot of this stuff for, for all kinds of different things. All right, with everything cleared off there, it uh, it's time to do some modifications to this table right here now. <clears throat> If you look at this thing, it's even it's hard for me to believe that I actually made this. And what was I thinking when I made this? I mean, look at the nightmare of tubing that is underneath this thing. I, I must have added on to it several times. I, I don't know what the deal is with it. But uh, nevertheless, I, I'm going to utilize it. I'm not going to get rid of it and build something new. We'll make something work with what I have right here. And like I said, I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to cut off a, a couple feet of it. Uh, and then we're going to modify it by putting uh, putting a couple more shelves in there. And, uh, and I'll probably get a lot of that stuff back on a, on a smaller, the smaller rack. Now this was made out of a two inch square tube. Uh, this is, uh, I think it's 120 wall thickness. It could be three sixteenths but it's some thick stuff it must have been something i had left over from a project when i when i made this thing several several years ago but uh anyways i'm glad to kind of see that go uh get it smaller anyway we consolidate some of this stuff all right with that out of the way you can see what i'm saying about uh putting a couple shelves in here i'm just welding some uh, two inch square tube something that i had left over there and and utilizing that that stuff that i had to uh, create more shelves in here and uh everything is cut down to where it's going to fit in the slot that i have to the left of that area right underneath my drill toolbox right there so that should work out pretty good I was able to just use the HCP 2400 sitting right there on a cart and uh, use that for uh, putting this thing back together and welding these uh, new shelves in. That HCP 2400, it's a dinosaur. It's, uh, it's an old transformer machine. I've had that for a long time, and I'm pretty sure the HCP doesn't sell those anymore, but uh, it sure is a nice machine. All right, this is the last little bracket right here, the last little piece to this puzzle on this uh, on this rack. I'm just finishing it up. All right, we get that old piece out of the way and then slide the new one in, and it fits right in there just like a glove. That's just the way I was hoping. 
and we get some plywood get in there for the shelves and I'll end up with uh, four shelves here top and then those three right there and that'll work out pretty good I'll get everything loaded up in there but before we do that I couldn't wait it's time to roll the new box into place now I'm using the same method as I did uh, taking out the old we're just gonna get it on the pallet jack here and drop it in place and that looks pretty nice I'm pretty excited about that all right there it is all complete I got everything put back in and uh, boy what a transformation and that took a couple of days for me and Marilio to do that special thanks to Marilio for helping me out with this project I couldn't have done it without him well I probably could have but it may have taken me a couple of months but uh, nevertheless nice transformation a good addition to the shop and I'm really looking forward to using that new toolbox I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.